Deep sea diving is one of the most lucrative recreational activities. We are fascinated by the benevolence of the sea world. With its myriad of sea creatures, silhouetted by the magnificent backdrop of never-ending water and coral reefs illuminated by dim light from above. Some of us have been fortunate to experience firsthand the power of the sea. Others have only learned about the sea thanks to their televisions and can only hope that one day they will witness with their own eyes the beauty of the sea. But how deep is too deep? You will probably exhaust yourself trying to crack this puzzle. Even the scientists have not yet given us the answer. The reality is our bodies react differently in different depths and circumstances. There is a limit to how deep our bodies can go. They will therefore communicate with us to abandon our diving expeditions and retreat back to the surface when they reach depths they cannot handle. Our bodies differ on how deep they can go. There are reported cases where free divers have reached shocking depths of more than 400 feet, where there are also instances where divers cannot go past the 100 feet mark. When you dive into the water, your body is buoyed towards the surface due to air in your lungs. You are therefore forced to paddle in order to go down. At about 40 feet, your lungs will shrink to half their normal size due to the contracting air. From 40 feet, there is no gravity and your body will naturally drift deeper and deeper. Your heart rate will reduce significantly. The heart rate differs among individuals. Some divers report rates as low as half their normal heartbeats, while others have reported less than 20 heartbeats per minute. The heartbeat rate will continue reducing as you go deeper. If your body is resilient enough to go to 300 feet, your chest will collapse to half its size. Most blood will be sucked away from most parts of your body and pumped to your heart and brain in order to keep you alive and conscious, respectively. The whole process reverses as you ascend up to the surface. Your body will signal you when you reach depths that are beyond the limits it can handle. The signals include nose bleeding, excruciating ear pain, nausea, fatigue, vomiting of blood, and even death, if you stay down for too long. Your body may also develop a condition known as the bends when you swim too deep or when you come up too fast to the surface. The bends is a condition whereby nitrogen bubbles get up inside your body. The decrease in pressure when you swim up too fast will make the bubbles expand inside your body. This may lead to severe joint pains and other problems for your body. If not immediately attended to, the bends can lead to death. So what transpires under the water? The answer is simple. The difference in pressure is what leads to complications as we go deeper and deeper into the sea. The pressure inside your body should be equal to the pressure outside. Your body is conditioned to operate normally at sea level. When you go too high, on the top of a mountain, or too low, more than 100 feet deep into the sea, your internal body pressure is affected. Your body will therefore try to balance the pressure inside and the pressure underwater. Unable to cope with the dense water, low air supply and the increasing pressure, your body will start to break down. You will probably experience ear pains, your lungs will shrink to half their normal size, and there will be nitrogen buildup inside your body. You may experience a condition known as nitrogen narcosis, which will make you hallucinate. The worst scenario is that you may suffer from the bends. Ever heard of the phrase, there is danger in paradise? Well, you will likely experience it firsthand deep in the water. Your powerless body will crumble from the combined strength of the dense water and underwater pressure. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share on Facebook.